All right, guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. It's a couple hours later. We are on day 28. Oh my gosh. Look. Mama, you did so good. Guys, we have a khaki Campbell, a fresh khaki Campbell. We will check back later. Our first thing in the morning, we're gonna let it dry out. It's a fresh hatchling. She did it, y'all. She did it. Y'all have a great night. We'll check back. Okay, first thing in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I know I have, oh my goodness, a brief intro from last night, but I'm gonna officially welcome you in. If you have not been keeping up with our series, <laughs> this was a series that we have called our Operation Broody Mamas. We're moving them and we moved them inside. We had three silkies. This is our third silky, okay, that went broody. And I decided to give her some duck eggs. Long story short, she ended up having three duck eggs and then she, <laughs> she laid a silky egg. One of the eggs of the duck eggs was not fertile. Look at her trying to get, look at that. Was not fertile, so we ended up with two duck eggs and a silky. The silky ended up great and hatching and I brought it in and put it in the, in the brooder. This is first thing guys in the morning, look over here. Mm-hmm, yes, you know who that is. I see you, baby. Then we had two duck eggs and one of them ended up being an early demise, but we had this one lone duck egg. So we are looking at today being day 28. It actually hatched late yesterday, so it hatched on day 27. But we brought it in on around day 24 and 25 and uh, brought her inside so she could hatch the baby inside because it's very cold. We've had a, we're in a huge cold snap again. So that is what has happened. So she is in here. She has been pretty much on a lockdown for the past three days. We've had one or two broody poops. I know, yuck. But it's part of it. We've cleaned that. Um, we've only had to fill the feed up a little bit once. So she's not been eating or drinking a lot because she's been concentrating on this little scooter bug that you can hear. There's the egg. So after it hatched last night and was successful, I just put it over there. So there's the egg. Duck eggs are very different from your chicken eggs. They um, are a bit, the, the shell is much harder. So just to give you guys an idea of what that looks like, most of the time they're obviously gonna be a little bit bigger, depending on the breed and everything. Okay, wh where are you? Oh, you're under mama's booty. Come here, she's got a big booty. <laughs> here is what we have, a khaki Campbell. These are our own ducks. I'm just gonna lift it up. <laughs> so this is a fresh hatchling, literally uh, late yesterday evening into last night. I knew it was pipping, you see the footage. Um, I checked it late yesterday afternoon, I saw a pip and I went, oh my goodness. And by dinner time, we had a, a significant pipping into to, um, basically the unzipping. And now 12 hours later, we have a healthy, dry baby duck. Can you believe that? It's unbelievable. These silkies are amazing. When they go broody, that's what they do. They are committed to hatching their babies. That's why I brought them in so that they could stay committed to doing that and the babies stay warm, including even this little sweet duck. I don't know what we're gonna name it, y'all. What are we gonna name this sweetness? I know, baby, let's get you back. So guys, I wanted to update you. This is gonna be a fun, fun time to see how this silky raises this because you know, the water's gonna be, we're gonna have water splashing and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna have to help it out, obviously, and figure out what we wanna do. Just wanna take you along for the journey. I'm telling you, sustainable silkies really help with the job. Oh my goodness, where's you going? All right, guys, I'm going to leave them be so they can settle in and just stay together. We appreciate you watching. We'll keep you posted. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I know. Oh, my goodness. Miss Cora, come here. Come here, Cora. Where's your tinker to babies? Where's your tinker to babies? 
doing good there too, guys. We will talk to you soon. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We'll see you at the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. Guys, the early bird special on the tickets for the conference end on April 20th. So I just want to keep everybody aware of that. Everybody's asking a lot of questions. And boy, are those tickets on the move. We look so much to seeing you guys in May. Y'all take care out there. Thank <laughs> you.